Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include The EU considers placing a cap on Bankster's bonus payments Draghi's back in the sack, more funny money for the next EU research budget Socialists say the EU should stimulate manufacturing An independent Scotland will get go back to the start and do not collect 200 euros EU considers agricultural subsidies for Greek island farmers. Meanwhile, bankrupt Greek government puts the islands up for sale as its economy implodes. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Whilst our banksters ring the Heidelbergs for additional flaky fiat funny money to pay their bonuses, our EU parliamentarians pontificate over further legislative powers to control the financial sector. This article has an in-depth look at the global economic collapse, and I should point out that it's not at all global. Russia, Brazil, India are doing just fine, and China is buying gold, resources, treasuries as it soaks up national governments and silently pones the Western world. But we wouldn't want UK PLC trading outside the single market where the money is. That wouldn't be prudent policy, according to our Westminster puppets. Ah oh, yes, they're back in action with an extended credit limit on the ECB charge card. Better increase the income paper budget for the Heidelbergs, Mr Draghi. We're going to need another 71 billion euros. As our euro kleptocrat collective masters punt up taxpayers' euros for prize money, this article will simply make you sigh. Now, I've said it before, and I will say it again. It doesn't take an economic genius to work out that you simply can't run an economy based upon services. There is only so much viability in hairdressers servicing accountants who do bookkeeping for lawyers who sue hairdressers for giving bad hair days to accountants. Apparently, some EU ministers have also unearthed this nugget of knowledge and are trying to impress upon the dark rulers of the Commission to get a few little folk actually making something. Now listen up, Alex Salmond, you mad haggis. This notion of independence is a farce. If your strategy is to separate from the Union in Britain, to retain your position as a region in Europe, you'll be throwing your people from the frying pan to the fire. Aside the fact that if... Interpretations are correct, Scotland would have to start the EU accession process from scratch. Now there's nothing wrong with independence, freedom and democracy, and Scotland could indeed be well placed in the world trade market. But you better be sure you're not simply handing a big piece of the UK over for assimilation into a federal European superstate. Well, here is an interesting piece of Euro Bureau legalese. Let me quote this bit first. Under Article 174 of the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union, the Union has a responsibility to reduce disparities between the levels of development of the various regions. So what they're saying is that there should be a levelling of social and economic development, a sort of communal equality throughout Europe. That's an interesting political idea. However, I digress from the point. This report looks at ways the EU might subsidise Greek island farmers with additional cash from Mr Draghi's mint. It also ties in rather nicely with our next story. Today in our video library, whilst the EU kleptocrats are trying to bring about communal equality, the Greeks are selling the very islands they're talking about. Having been signed on to huge derivative debt by the banks, IMF and corrupt politicians, coupled with the Greek people already rioting and fighting for food whilst Eurogen 4 clamped down with violent force, this really is the end game. This is why EU democracy has failed the nations and the people that supported it. The same fate is likely for Spain, Portugal and Ireland too. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. 
Finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis, for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.